Bravo. With the new era of technology and the use of mobile money making transactions versatile, receiving bribes directly has become unfashionable. Judicial officers and police officers who rank high in taking bribes have changed tactics to avoid detection. This revelation is contained in a survey conducted by Legal Aid Service Providers Network. They will be very cautious. They will not receive the money directly. They will use mobile money. They are designated mobile agents nearby. And they can easily tell you, please go and deposit that money there. The mobile designated person knows exactly what to do after the money has come. So this business, the IGG will come and catch me ready-handed when I'm receiving the money, can no longer apply. They have learned to cope with the situation. Because if you've given money, you passed over the money to someone through a phone, police has the capacity to track down. We have a unit that has the capacity, we have developed the capacity to be in position to investigate that. And that will be good evidence. The acting register of the Judicial Service Commission, Julius Mwebembe, says the judiciary intends to sanction a probe on this dossier. And the two senior detectives have already been attached to us. We shall be investigating uh, money transferred through mobile money and so forth. Last year, some judicial officers were trapped receiving bribes on their mobile money accounts. 2016, February, we removed one grade one magistrate. We, go, we had evidence, incontrovertible evidence that he had received money. We removed one. But in that session alone, we dismissed eight and two were chief magistrates. Unfortunately, we are, doing, we are dealing with a very difficult uh, constituency. I think they are all in the court. <laughs> and some have already defeated us, but uh, we are on appeal. However, the current legal framework does not provide a mandate to Bank of Uganda to supervise mobile money transactions, which hinders the fight against graft. Advocates, according to the research, we are also singled out among us the biggest graft offenders. It also indicates that payments of bribes either sought after by clerks or they are offered by the accused themselves. And then also the lawyers themselves carry out that inducement to make certain bribes to the judicial officers. In fact, when the lawyers are negotiating with their clients, they even tell them, Please put a portion which I'll take to the judicial officer. So the lawyers themselves are drivers of corruption. That one of the advocates went and asked for about $150,000, yes, from uh, a client, an investor, saying, give me this $150,000. Are you going to give to one of the top managers of the institution so that he decides the case, so he decides the case? So, because we don't have the power to punish advocates by law, so most cases we usually refer them to the law council. The Inspector of Courts, Justice Imachure Tibusinje, revealed that cases of giving false affidavits to courts of law are rampant. Wrong information to court. I don't think that you would have even where to put the suspects. Even if you are to give bond, maybe the stretch would come from Wandegaya up to Ginger. It's very serious. These affidavits come with attachments, and the attachments are also forged. Jingo Francis, NTV.